Friends of the Cancer Centre is a hospital charity which contributes to the care, treatment and support of cancer patients. Formerly known as Friends of Montgomery House, the charity has been supporting cancer patients and their families since the early 80s. With the closure of Beaver Park Hospital in March 2006, Friends moved to and is now based at the Cancer Centre at Belfast City Hospital. Each year, over 11,000 people are diagnosed with cancer in Northern Ireland. We try to enhance what the National Health Service already do. The charity, obviously when you walk into the newly built cancer centre, you see a state-of-the-art building, so I think the charity was a bit bewildered at the beginning at the things that we might be able to do. Dr Seamus McAleer has been a trustee of Friends for over 20 years. He's a clinical director at the cancer centre and has witnessed firsthand the tremendous support that Friends has given to cancer patients. Dr McAleer is also aware of Friends' commitment to research into the causes and treatment of cancer. Over the years, the Friends funded some of the staff in, in the research department doing the clinical trials, and that's been a very big thing. They also have funded particular research projects, and they, they're looking to fund a new radiation oncology professor to drive research around their radiotherapy. And they're also funding extra equipment around radiotherapy research and indeed around laboratory research. We're a cancer research laboratory, particularly involved in, in radiation research and uh, one of the, the gold standard experiments we do is, is called the clonogenic assay. Within our, our cancer research lab we, we do hundreds of these experiments and uh, to be able to make the experiment more efficient and more objective is very valuable and the call count machine that uh, has been funded by the Friends of the Cancer Centre has enabled us to do that. Angela O'Neill is a research radiographer who works on developing and improving patient treatment and care. Friends has been supporting this post for over 10 years, and during this time, thousands of cancer patients have benefited from major advances in radiotherapy treatment and technology. Friends of the Cancer Centre have uh, funded their research and development post, which has meant that the radiotherapy department has benefited from a radiographer who's dedicated to radiotherapy research and has the time to concentrate on developing research protocols within the radiotherapy department. Uh, this helps to advance radiotherapy techniques and ensure that uh, patients, uh, cancer patients in Northern Ireland have access to the best treatment possible. Members within the hospital can come along, ask for help with funding, the funding request is then assessed by the Board of Trustees and if funded then the projects can take place. And my particular area of interest is prostate cancer and friends have been particularly helpful in this area. People often speak of feeling that they have lost control of their life when they are diagnosed with cancer. At the same time, it can also be difficult to cope with the implications of the illness, such as anxiety, fatigue and depression. Fortunately, complementary therapies can help alleviate some of these symptoms. Here at the nearby Macmillan Information Centre, Friends is now funding a range of complementary therapy sessions, including aromatherapy and massage. It also funds yoga, Tai Bo, Tai Chi, as well as relaxation classes. We opened in December 2006 and we opened at Christmas time and we thought we'd have a bit of a a lull in the January period to settle in and it wasn't the case. Um, Friends of the Cancer Centre really came into its own when it stepped in as, as you can imagine all this demand, you know, that's the demand on our resources, on our time, on our personnel. Cancer can be very stressful and we do yoga and meditation here to help focus the person and bring calmness of mind and body and to assist them with their journey. With a funding package now in place, the financial support from Friends ensures that cancer patients receive an additional 28 complimentary therapy sessions every week, each lasting around an hour. I would recommend and have recommended it to people, friends of mine who are going through cancer as well, I have recommended them to come here and they have come and have enjoyed treatment as well. As you can imagine with such a service, it's very much in demand and our demand for that has increased quite a lot and Friends of Cancer have stepped in to make sure that our services are very accessible so people don't have to wait, and um, cancer patients get the service that they need when they want it. This is Glenview, a bed and breakfast facility supported by Friends. 
Situated in the grounds of Belfast City Hospital, just 400 metres from the cancer centre, Glenview is for patients who have long distances to travel while receiving their radiotherapy treatments. With some daily treatments lasting for anything up to seven weeks, it's hardly surprising that this popular home from home has made life a lot easier for many cancer patients who stay free of charge and for a nominal fee a family member can also stay. My distance would be round trip of about 140 miles from the north coast and perhaps about three or four hours in a car. And then if you were travelling by train, it's, it's obviously a lot, lot longer. So I found it uh, just utterly impossible to think about the travel time and the, the, the pain of travelling. If Glenview hadn't been here, it would have been quite difficult for us because we travel from Derry and he's very, very tired at the moment and he spends a lot of time in bed. And it's easier for him to stay here than it is for us to travel up and down. Well, I'm from Enniskillen, and when I was sent from Alta Galvin and sent down to the centre, I discovered then that Glenview was here so that I could stay over and didn't have to travel up and down. I just couldn't have done it without Glenview. The main thing about Glenview is that um, you have your own uh, your own bedroom, your own ensuite. Um, you have your your fridge, your tea, coffee making facilities, but you also have that space. But then you have the the availability to come down to these really nice um, lounge areas, kitchen areas where you can form that whole home community and that home area with the people that are also staying here and that common bond because they're here simply because they've had a cancer diagnosis. Uh, so that brings people together from the beginning. There's 30 bedrooms in, in Glenview and I've been told by the staff that it's almost fully occupied every week. If we can make that a more home from home place for people to stay, I think that's a very good way of friends being able to utilise the public's funds. So how is all this outstanding work achieved? Friends relies on the support of the general public to do what it does best, and that's raise money to put directly back into projects that make a real difference to cancer patients. Much of that support comes from fundraisers. This is Barbara Johnston, who became the face of Friends when the charity was relaunched back in October 2006. As a cancer patient, Barbara knows all about the funding that Friends provides for others. The money that's raised comes direct into the centre and it's used to enhance the services that are already here. There's a lot of research and a lot of patient comforts that wouldn't be available if it wasn't for the monies that people out there are raising. Fundraisers like Barbara will try almost anything to help raise much needed cash for this wonderful charity. We've had an art exhibition, we've organised Gala Ball, there's been the All-Ireland premiere of the musical Chess. I have had friends that have supported uh, other, other things that the centre have organised themselves. As a patient, Nolina Dare works closely with the dedicated team at the Cancer Centre and has been supporting friends for several years. Her dad, Brian, is also a great ambassador for the charity. Nolene was first diagnosed with breast cancer at the age of just 22. She's currently going through treatment for the fourth time. A bit like myself, a lot of young girls do, do not consider the possibility of getting cancer at a young age. And that's the reason why I decided to come forward, tell my story and raise awareness and hopefully prevent any young person or in fact an older woman from getting the disease that it gets detected early. Breast cancer is the commonest cancer affecting women and whilst it is mainly a disease affecting older women, it can affect women at any age in their life and clearly this often has a, a devastating effect on their, their life when they've previously been very healthy and never had an illness before. I find patients are very, very happy to support the Friends of the Cancer Centre and it can be a very good vehicle for them to express their gratitude for the service and treatment they received here and in a way that would be used uh, in a very appropriate manner. We don't just have members of the public fundraising for us, we actually have the staff at the Cancer Centre fundraising as well and the staff encourage the patients and their families to fundraise for the charity because they themselves know the difference that the charity makes. 
I've been involved in several major fundraising drives myself, long distance cycles and so on, and I'm quite happy that that's the best place for the money that I raise for cancer services, and I can reassure the patients. It's going to go to help patients in a similar position to yourself across a range of different things that they need. If you would like to help support the charity in any way, or if you would like to know more about the wide range of fundraising events currently taking place, then the team at Friends would like to hear from you. Our office is based in the ground floor of the Cancer Centre, just beside the reception area. Or you can contact us by telephone, which is Belfast 90699393. Or contact us via our website. Our website is always updated and that will let you know what's happening around the province, whether it be an event that you can get involved with or the kind of projects that's actually the charity supporting at this present time. Friends of the Cancer Centre, unite to fight cancer.